Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question What is iterative and incremental development? Let's begin! In our previous videos, we created a scheme, and most of the software development models were categorized as iterative and incremental. Let's get familiar with these models. And we begin with an explanation given by ISTQB. The link to the ISTQB website will be provided in the materials for the video. According to the ISTQB, the iterative development model is a type of software development lifecycle model in which the component of a system is developed through a series of repeated cycles. The incremental development model definition is almost identical, the difference is only in one word. The definitions are very abstract and unclear. Let's take a closer look at the information provided by ISTQB. Let's start with the iterative development model. ISTQB doesn't provide a lot of information related to it. You can pause the video and read it. But the key sentence here is, when groups of features are specified, designed, built and tested together in a series of cycles, often of a fixed duration. We will explain what it is with the example in a minute. Let's check what ISTQB says about the incremental development model. And again, there is not much information about it. The main sentence is, the software's features grow incrementally. To summarize, iterative development develops features in iteration. Incremental development develops features in increments. Which is logical, but doesn't explain what we want to know. Instead of going around in circles and getting lost in theory, it becomes clear with an example. Let's say we have a website, the Internet Shop. With five pages, users are able to find and buy products. There are plans to develop new features to improve the user experience on Tech Card page. There are features that are difficult to implement. For example, a user must be able to use a coupon. Their development will take five, six days. And both features have the highest priority. There are two medium priority features. For example, the user should be able to change the color or size of the product. The development of each will take two days. And there are two features of low priority. For example, the user should be able to zoom in or view more photos of the product. The development of each will take one day. We have six features in total, the development of which will take three, four weeks. We are going to use the Agile development methodology, Kanban. In most cases, this is an incremental methodology, which means that the software's features grow incrementally. In practice, it looks like this. The backlog is sorted by priority. The team takes a feature from the backlog into development. The team has been working on it for six days. And when the development is complete, the team decides whether to release the feature to end users. If the decision is made to release, then this feature becomes an increment and users have a working version of the product, with a new feature, the ability to use coupons. This changes the product version from 5.0 to 5.1. The increment was successfully completed. Then the team takes the next highest priority feature into development. It is being worked on and when it's ready, it will also be released to end users. This is already the second increment. The version of the website changes from 5.1 to 5.2. The end users have a new working version of the websites with two new features. And the development continues in the same way. It is not necessary that one feature be released. For example, a team can develop a medium priority feature and do not release it to end users. And take into development one more small feature. And when both will be completed, release two at once. This will be the third increment. Incremental development focuses on two things. First, the working version of the product with a minimum of feasible functionality is available to users. Secondly, instead of developing all the features, which can take months, and releasing them all at once. The product is developed in small increments, one or more features at a time. It's time to get familiar with iterative development. 
the preconditions are the same as with incremental development. We have a working version of the website 5.0. And users can use it and make purchases. And we have plans to develop the same features as before. The difference between iterative and incremental development is that in iterative development, the emphasis is shifted toward iterations. What this means is best demonstrated by the example of Scrum. This is an example of iterative and incremental development. Iterations are called sprints and usually last from one to four weeks. The duration of the spring affects the increment and priorities. In our case, the sprint lasts two weeks. This means that we cannot include both big features. We can only include one. The development of which will last six days. And let's take two more average features. These features are being developed within two weeks. And when they are ready, they will be released together, like one big increment. Users have a new version of the product with three new features. In the scope of iterative development, we also release increments. Each new version of the site includes previous versions and a new increment. Iterations last from one to four weeks, so the increments are usually larger. This is the key difference between incremental and iterative development. In incremental, we are focused on increments. We define the scope of the increments. It can be one feature, two features, or a lot of features and bugs in one increment. When they are ready, we will release them to end users. We are not limited in iterations time limits. Both approaches have pros and cons, but we will discuss this in a separate video. That's all what we wanted to discuss in the scope of the iterative and incremental development. You can pause the video and read the definitions one more time. Hope to see you in the next video. And that was our answer to the question, what is iterative and incremental development?